In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remote control your worship production computers using the free screen sharing app that comes installed on all Mac computers. Let's say you have a Mac on stage running your Ableton Live session, but rather than having your music director or your worship leader cue songs, you want your sound guy or gal or service producer in the back of the room to make those cues happen. Using the screen sharing app on Mac is the easiest and cheapest way to remotely monitor or control other computers in your tech setup. And there are many potential use cases for this tool that will save you and your team a ton of time and headache. Let's get started. First, I'll show you how to set up this using two Macs. Then we can talk about some hypothetical use cases towards the end of the video. Important note before we begin, this setup is only gonna cover setting up remote control over a local area network between two Max using the built-in screen sharing app. If you're using a PC, consider checking out the app called TeamViewer. Or if you want to remote into computers at your church from an entirely different location like your home office, then you can use TeamViewer and it will work on both Mac and PC and it's gonna use TeamViewer's servers to make that connection. But in this video, we're just talking about using your own local area network. Here I have two MacBook Pros. We'll pretend that MacBook Pro number one is our tech booth computer that our tech team monitors to run ProPresenter, maybe to control the mix for our live stream, you name it. Next, we have another MacBook Pro that runs Ableton Live to play our tracks and automation cues. We'll pretend that this computer is up on stage, usually next to our keyboardist or MD who builds our song sessions and our set list in Ableton and also cues the song throughout the service. In this scenario, we want MacBook Pro number one in the tech booth to monitor and have remote control over MacBook Pro two on stage. And we want to be able to do the reverse, to have the stage computer actually remote into the tech booth computer as well. Maybe you would want to make some tweaks to your ProPresenter documents. The first thing to do is to make sure that both computers are on the same network. This will work over Wi-Fi or preferably you'll want to use a hardware Ethernet connection. Next, make sure you know the user login credentials for each machine. If these machines are the property of the church, you'll probably want to have a username and password that's shared by your various tech team volunteers. Now let's configure the sharing preferences on each computer. Starting with MacBook Pro number one in the tech booth, we'll go to system preferences and we'll select sharing. From there, we'll make sure that it has an obvious name for identification on the network. I'm gonna call it production computer. Next, I'll click the checkbox next to remote management. Under computer settings, I'll make sure I have that checkbox enabled to show remote management status in the menu bar. If your machine has multiple users, you can specify which ones specifically gain remote access to the computer. But in this case, both computers only have one user at the moment, so I'm not going to do this. Next, I'm going to repeat this process on the other MacBook Pro I'm using to run tracks. Now both computers have their preferences set up so they can be logged into and controlled remotely on a local area network. So double check one more time that the computers are indeed on the same Wi-Fi or Ethernet network. Now I'm going to open the screen share app on MacBook Pro number one, our production computer in the tech booth. I'll just search for the screen share app in Spotlight. Then I need to enter the network name I gave to the other MacBook Pro that runs Ableton. In this case, it's gonna be tracks-rig-computer.local. And there you have it. Now I can remotely view and control the tracks rig computer from my production computer. Next, let's follow the same process on the tracks rig computer so we can control the production computer. I'll open the screen sharing app on MacBook Pro number two running Ableton. I'll enter in the network name production-computer.local and voila, we have control over the production computer in the tech booth. It's also worth mentioning you can do a quick file transfer between the computers by simply dragging and dropping a file from one computer's desktop into the other desktop in the screen share. Now that you understand how to use this setup, let's discuss some potential use cases. I think the best use case that most churches can benefit from is for the service producer. Perhaps you have someone in your tech booth who helps lead the team with various cues throughout the service, making sure that everyone has everything they need to make stuff happen. The service producer could pull up multiple screens from multiple Macs on their computer to monitor other machines running tracks, ATEM control software, ProPresenter, lighting software, 
or their broadcast mix in a DAW. And if any of those stations experience problems with their software or their users don't know how to do something, the service producer can help them resolve issues remotely. This is the exact setup we saw in the Red Rocks Church Tech Tour. I like to think of the Mac screen sharing app as a poor man's version of the Vertive KVM system we saw at Life Church. Instead of sharing screens, they actually have a more advanced and robust version of this setup that places all of the computers in a server room and then any computer can be accessed by a Vertive workstation that's throughout the building. Here's another great use case of screen sharing. Maybe you're doing most of your planning and prep work in your office at your church. Let's say you're building your Ableton Live set with ProPresenter lyric cues and you need to have ProPresenter open in order to set up those cues. Well, instead of having to physically bring your computer to the tech booth, you can just pull up the screen of that ProPresenter machine in your sanctuary uh, and you can bring up that screen on the same computer as your Ableton computer. And since they're on the same network, you can actually even send your MIDI cues to the ProPresenter machine over the network and then you can monitor those cues through the screen sharing app. Mind blowing, it's kind of confusing when I say that out loud, but you know what I mean. It's really powerful when you use this type of system. What other innovative ideas do you have for ways you could use this screen sharing tool? Let us all know down below in the comments. For a list of all of our recommended gear and software for worship ministry, don't forget to check out the worship ministry toolkit linked below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.